Welcome back sa aking YouTube channel. And for today's video, ang topic natin ay tungkol sa problems involving trapezoid. Kung matatandaan nyo, kahapon nag-upload ako ng video lesson tungkol naman sa problems involving parallelograms. Kung gusto ninyong balikan yung lesson na yon, ilalagay ko sa description box yung link ng lesson tungkol sa problems involving par parallelograms. Okay? So, magkaroon muna tayo ng kaunting review. What is a trapezoid? So, ito yung itsura ng karaniwang trapezoid. So, meron tayong leg, dali yung dalawang side, at yung base naman, yung nasa taas at yung nasa baba. So, ang trapezoid ay ang quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel side. So, ito yung kanyang pinaka, uh, ito yung kanyang common description. So, yung trapezoid na to, ang parallel side dito is yung base natin. So, itong nasa taas at yung nasa baba, sila yung side na parallel sa isa't isa. Pero, itong leg na to at ito ay hindi sila parallel sa isa't isa. Kasi kapag in-extend natin yung leg, yung dalawang leg, at some point sila ay magbimi. Magkakaroon sila ng intersection point. Meron tayong isang klase ng trapezoid, yung tinatawag natin na isosceles trapezoid. So, ano nga ba ang isosceles trapezoid? Ito yung picture ng halimbawa ng isosceles trapezoid. So, ang isosceles trapezoid, it is a trapezoid whose legs are congruent. Kanina, dun sa ating naunang picture ng trapezoid, yung dalawang leg ay obviously hindi sila congruent. Kasi yung isa is longer kaysa dun sa isang leg. Okay? Pero ang isosceles trapezoid natin, yung legs niya ay congruent sa isa't isa at yung bases ay parallel. Okay? So, meron tayong properties ng isosceles trapezoid. Number one, the base angles are congruent. Yung base angles natin, ito yung mga angles na nasa corner ng bases. So, yung angle A and angle B, ito yung base angle. And then, we have angle D and angle C. So, sila yung base angle natin. Yung base angles na yan, na pareho ang location, ay congruent. Okay? Next, the diagonals also are congruent. So, ang diagonals natin dito kay isosceles trapezoid ABCD ay si diagonal AC at si diagonal BD. So, yung dalawang diagonal na yan, congruent sila. Okay? So, at some point, nag-meet ang ating diagonals. Ito yung kanilang point of intersection na kung saan nandiyan yung red na ating, um, ayan. Okay, and then, naka-form sila Nung nag-intersect yung diag dalawang diagonal natin is nagkaroon tayo ng dalawang congruent parts ng diagonal. Okay? So, magbe-base lang tayo sa picture na to. So, huwag niyong kakalimutan ng properties ng isosceles trapezoid. Base angles are congruent and also the diagonals. So, how to solve how to solve a word problem involving trapezoid? So, let us have example number one. Given RUBI is a trapezoid with median IJ. So, included dito sa lesson na to yung median. So, kung matatandaan nyo, na-discuss ko na din sa inyo ito. Ilalagay ko na lang din sa link, uh, sa description box yung link ng topic natin about the median of a trapezoid. So, letter A, if RU is 18 and YB is 24, find IJ. Then, letter B, if RU is 3x minus 9, IJ is 12, and YB is equal to 4x plus 12, find x. So, let us illustrate this first problem. So, to illustrate, we have this one. So, sa illustration natin, may kita natin na iba yung mark ng leg na to, ng leg RY sa leg ng UB. So, automatic, sa figure na to, hindi isosceles trapezoid yung given. Okay? So, let's have our solution for letter A. So, let us have the formula in getting the median of a trapezoid. We have median is equal to quantity base sub 1 plus base sub 2 divided by 2. So, all you need to do here is to substitute yung mga given sa ating formula. 
So, let us have first, your median here is the IJ. Ito yung hinahanap. And then, yung first base natin is RU. Ayan. Ang measurement given ay 18. At yung YB, ang given measurement ay 24. So, substitute lang natin yan sa formula. And then, next is, you need to add yung nasa taas. So, 18 plus 24 is 42. Then, to get IJ, we have 42 divided by 2. The measurement of the median, therefore, is 21. So, therefore, IJ, sa letter A, ang hinahanap ay yung IJ. IJ is 21. Solution for letter B. So, again, ang hinahanap dito ay yung variable X. Pero, since given dito ang measurement ng median, we can be able to use the formula of median. And then, substitution natin, yung base sub 1 natin is RU, and then base sub 2 natin is YB. Substitute natin yung mga given sa formula, IJ is 12, RU is 3X minus 9 plus YB is 4X plus 12 divided by 2. Next is, let us combine here similar terms. So, pagtatabihin lang natin yung mga similar terms. So, we have 3x plus 4x. Ayan, pinagtabi lang siya. At saka 12 minus 9. So, minus 9 bit bit ni 9 yung minus kasi yan yung sign niya pa din. And then, sagutan natin. 3x plus 4x is 7x plus 12 minus 9 ay 3. Now, let us apply here multiplication property of equality. So, yung 2 multiply na lang natin siya kay 12. So, therefore, we have this one. And then, simplify, this is 24, 2 times 12 by 24. And the next natin is to up, um, apply addition property of equality. So, para mas madali, transpose lang natin si positive 3 sa left side. So, this will become 24 minus 3 equals 7x. And 24 minus 3 is 21. Now, to isolate variable x, let us divide this by 7. So, x therefore is... 3. So, ang hinahanap sa letter B ay yung value ng X. So, the value of X is 3. So, ganyan lang po yung pag-solve natin ng given problem. For example, number 1. Let us have another example. So, let us have ABCD is a trapezoid with median EF. So, again, may median ulit ito. Letter A, if DC is equal to 2X plus 10, AB is equal to 3x plus 20, and EF is equal to 4x. What is EF? Letter B, if AB is equal to 4x minus 6, EF is equal to 3x, and DC is equal to 7 times quantity x minus 2, what is DC? So, let us illustrate the uh, problem here. So, we have diagonal at trapezoid, I mean trapezoid ABCD with median EF. So, letter A, solution for letter A, let's use the formula of median. Then, substitute natin yung base of 1 natin, DC, tsaka AB. Kahit magbaliktad yun, okay lang ha. Then, substitute natin dito yung mga given sa formula. So, ang EF natin ay 4X. So, ito siya. Ang DC natin ay 2X plus 10. Ayan. Plus, ang ating AB ay 3X plus 20 divided by 2. And then, let us combine next similar terms, 2x at saka 3x, tapos 20 plus 10. Then, let us simplify. 2x plus 3x ay 5x. 20 plus 10 ay 30. And then, let us apply here multiplication property of equality. So, multiply lang natin si 2 by kay 4x. So, this is 2 times 4x. Ayan siya. And then, we have 8x equals 5x plus 30. Next natin is to combine similar terms. So, yung 5x, lipat natin sa left side. So, we have 8x minus 5x equals 30. Then, simplify. This is 3x equals 30. To isolate variable x, let us divide this by 3. So, x now is 10. Pero, ang hinahanap kasi dito sa letter A ay yung measurement ng EF. Now, to get the measurement of EF, let us substitute here the value of x, which is 10, dun sa um, given ng EF, which is 4x. Ang EF natin ay 4x, yung x dito, palitan mo lang ng 10. Now, we have 4 times 10, EF is 40 units. So, ang measurement ng EF, yung median, 
based dun sa ating given letter A, I-40. Now, for solution number letter B, again, gamitin pa rin natin yung formula ng median and then substitute lang natin. Tapos, substitute natin dito yung given sa formula. So, ang EF natin na, na, sa letter B naman, ang EF natin ay 3X. Ang hinahanap dito ay DC, ha? Tapos, yung DC natin ay 7 times quantity X minus 2 at ang AB natin ay 4X minus 6. Next is, simplify natin itong 7 times quantity X minus 2 by distributing 7 sa loob ng parentheses. So, we have 7x minus 14. 7 times x is 7x. 7 times negative 2 ay negative 14. Then, simplify. Combine similar terms. So we have 7x plus 4x. Ayan, pinagtabi lang yung may mga variable x. And then, yung mga constant natin, negative 14 and negative 6. Let us um, simplify. 7x plus 4x ay 11x. Negative 14 minus 6 ay negative 20. Then, apply here multiplication property of equality. Let us multiply 3x by 2. So, we have this one. 2 times 3x is equal to 6x. And then, 11x, ayan, copy lang natin. Okay? And then, let us combine here similar terms. So, kapag ka ang gagawin ninyo, pag si 11x yung inilipat nyo sa left, magkakaroon kayo ng negative sign na variable. Pero para hindi kayo mahirapan, ang gawin na lang natin is ganito. Ilipat mo si 20 sa left, tapos yung 6x ilipat mo sa right. Para at the end of the solution, wala kang negative na sagot. Okay? So, 11x minus 6x ay 5x. Divide both sides by 5 to isolate variable x. x is equal to 4. Kasi 20 divided by 5 ay 4. So, ang variable x natin ay 4. Pero ang hinahanap dito ay yung measurement ng side or base DC. Now, yung DC natin ay 7 times quantity x minus 2. So, let us have this one. Papalitan mo yung variable x dito ng 4. So, we have this one. Then, minus muna natin yung nasa loob. 4 minus 2 ay 2. Then, multiply 7 times 2 ay 14. So, ibig sabihin, ang measurement ng DC, according dun sa given sa letter B, ay 14 units. So, ganyan lang po yan, class. Kapag ka po, akong ano yung given, identify mo lang kung anong formula ang pwede mong gamitin. Dito, puro median yung given natin. And, kapag ka naman, um, ang hinahanap ay angle, so madali lang yan kasi base angles, congruent lang naman silang lahat. Okay? So, I hope meron kayo naintindihan dito and pwede mo rin tong i-share sa inyong mga friends and classmates na may same problem din na given. So, again, wag mo kakalimutan mag-like at subscribe. Bye-bye!